As an Ezine Articles expert author, you're probably familiar with the term resource box. You know, the call to action, the place you put for more information. But did you know that a properly used resource box is probably the most powerful tool in your article marketing toolbox? This video will explain how you can create and utilize the perfect resource box to build traffic, credibility, and market exposure for you, your business, and your brand. A resource box is found at the end of your article and gives the reader extra resources to learn more about what they were just reading. In order to craft a highly effective resource box, you should include your full name, a link to your website in the typical URL form, and your unique selling proposition. If your author bio has a photo uploaded, which it should, a thumbnail of it will automatically appear in your resource box. The last thing in your resource box is your call to action. In Christopher Knight's resource box, he asks the reader to set up an Ezine Articles account and then provides the link to do so. A perfect, simple call to action. Some items you might use to entice a reader to visit your landing page may include a free ebook, an MP3 file, a PDF document, additional graphs or reports, secrets about the industry, or even your Ezine subscription information. Regardless of what you put in your resource box, make sure you don't tarnish your credibility by overdoing it. Keep it benefit-oriented to your ideal client. One thing you need to be careful of is to only provide one call to action. Don't get greedy. Just because you have their attention doesn't mean they won't leave. Don't list every website you own, awards you won, or products you're selling. There is no faster way to dilute your credibility than by listing information that has nothing to do with the content in your article. And remember that size matters. Make sure your resource box line count is no more than 15% of your article line count. What that means is if your article is 25 lines long, your resource box should be 3 to 4 lines long. To do that, you multiply 25 by 15% or 0.15 and that equals 3.75 lines, so 3 to 4 lines. Now that you know how to craft your resource box, let's put it to good use. To create your resource box, log in to your member's account on ezinearticles.com. Go to Profile Manager and select Edit Author Resource Boxes from the drop-down menu. Here you see three tabs, New, Edit, and Tools. Use the New tab to create new resource boxes. You select an author from your account, name your resource box, and then type in the content. When you're done, click the Add New Resource Box and it'll be saved to your account. Using multiple resource boxes saves you time by not making you retype one for every article that you submit to Ezine Articles. To modify an existing resource box, click the Edit tab. Select the author and the title of the resource box you wish to edit, make your changes, and click Save. Please note that this will not change resource boxes in your current live articles. To delete a resource box, select the title of the one you wish to delete and click the red delete button. You will be asked to confirm the deletion. Just select yes and poof, it's deleted. Again, this will not delete resource boxes in your current live articles. If you click the tools tab, you can set a default resource box so it automatically appears when you are submitting articles. If you have multiple authors on your account, you can duplicate or copy a resource box to them by selecting the title of the resource box. Scrolling down and clicking the button that corresponds with the task you want to do. This is a great feature if you want to use an existing resource box as a template for a different author on your account. If you really want to make your article sell, then you've got to craft the perfect resource box. Use the article body as your give to the reader and the resource box as the take. And speaking of take, take full advantage of your resource box and use it wisely.